Hey, and two picklers. Today we're going to cover the number two error in pickleball. The number two error in pickleball arises from players playing off of the no volley zone line. Generally stems from a, either a misunderstanding of the no volley zone or kitchen, or just too much concern about stepping into the kitchen or potentially stepping into the kitchen, thereby creating an error on almost every single point. If you're not 100% familiar with the no volley zone rule, click below for a video on the rule. Let's look at the ways in which playing off the line creates errors in the game. First error from playing off of the line is it is harder for you to execute your shots. It is harder to ding into the other kitchen from here than it is from here. Try it sometime. Hit some dings from here, and then hit some dings from here, and if you want to get creative, hit some dings from here. Every time I take a step back, my dinks become harder and harder and harder to execute. It is also harder for me to cover the other side shots from here than it is from here. If my opponents hit a short dink and I'm standing here, I can step, hit the dink, and return. If I'm standing here and they hit the same shot, I have to take multiple steps to reach it and execute the shot, making my job much harder. A second error from standing here is adding time to the other team. I give them the gift of time by standing here, allowing them to recover and adjust to what I'm trying to accomplish. Let's say I'm standing here and my partner has executed a shot that has forced the other team to shift this way, and now I get a ball here. I can intercept that ball sooner, sending it the other way, potentially for a winner or creating an error on the other side. Now, let's look at the same shot from back here. My partner has executed a shot, pulled the opposing team over this way, and I'm gonna execute my shot over here to try and win the point or force an error. By standing here, the other team has the additional time it takes for the ball to reach me, and the additional time it takes for my ball to reach my intended target. The third error from standing off of the no volley zone line is I open up more angles. The other team has more angles they can attack than if I'm standing up at the no volley zone line. The last two errors created by being off the no volley zone line that I want to discuss are probably the most important. The first one involves not putting any pressure on the opposing team. If I'm standing here and I have my paddle in a ready position out here, it's a very small area that the opposing team can work with in order to execute a proper ding, to execute what they call an unattackable ball. They have to execute that ball in front of where I can reach my paddle. That's the space they have. If I take a step back to here, now I've given the opposing team much more space to operate with, reducing the pressure on the opposing team to properly execute their shot. The opposing team can now relax on their dings. They don't have to be as stressed in their dings as they are when I'm standing in this position. The last error relates directly to that, which is that if I'm in this position, and the opposing team makes an error on a dink, I can then take advantage of that mistake. If they float a dink here, I can hit it. Here, I can hit it. I can shuffle and hit it. I can take advantage of errors by the opposing team. If I'm standing here, I lose that advantage. If the opposing team commits an error now, I cannot execute on that error or not execute it easily on that error. So coming back up here, if there's a ball that I could execute a put away shot here with, let's go back a step and I'll bring the paddle down to where it now it's here because of the trajectory of the ball. So I take a ball that was up here and I step back and now the ball is here. I might still be able to execute the shot, but it's a much harder shot for me to execute from here. So now let's switch it from errors to positives. Let's look at the positives that you can gain in your game by coming up to the no volley zone line. First thing you're gonna gain, you're gonna make your shot easier. Your dink is going to be an easier shot from here than it was when you're standing back there. Number two, you're going to close off angles. You're going to make it harder for the other team to get the ball past you and your partner. Number three, you're going to take time away from the opposing team. So that when they're out of position and you execute your shot, you're going to apply maximum pressure to the other team from your shot. Number four, you're going to increase the pressure on the opposing team to execute a proper shot. And fifth, related to the last one, when the opposing team commits an error, you're going to be able to reach that ball and execute a shot to put the ball away.
If you typically play off of the Novalis all the time, let me give you a few tips to help you remedy that. The first one may seem self-evident, but if you can start playing closer and closer to the no body zone line, you'll get used to where the net is in relation to your body position out of the corner of your eye without having to look down to see where the no body zone line is. So if you're currently playing here most of the time, try and come just to here. That'll reduce the error. And then next time out, maybe a little closer, and then maybe a little closer, and then maybe a little closer until you get to the optimal point by the no body zone. Probably the simplest thing you can do to make sure you're in the right place during a point is when you're on the returning team and your partner is actually receiving the serve is to come up to the line and stand at the best possible spot before the ball is served. So what I will do is I will come up to the line like this before the ball is served and I'm ready. And now when the ball is served, I'm already where I need to be. I don't have to move into position after the serve. I am already in position before the serve has even begun. The objective in playing a pickleball point is to try and win the point. By being closer to the low volley zone line, you'll put yourself in the best position to do just that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's been helpful, consider subscribing to our channel below. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like for us to cover. Somewhere over there, I think. Is a subscribe button. Oh, apparently you've got more videos. They're over there. If you want to look at it, you can look at it.